Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dave. This is GVA Ghetto Van Adventures. And today, you know what? I'm going to teach you how to test your antifreeze. Now, your antifreeze in the car or coolant, whichever area you live in, antifreeze in the car uh, protects your cooling system and your engine from freezing. Um, now, my old one broke, so I purchased one of these. Let's see if I can get that right in there antifreeze coolant tester okay and there's the directions on the back now i'll get a better picture of that but i'll go through the directions just quick it says remove cap and overflow containers start engine let idle for, for three to five minutes draw the fluid into the tester until it reaches fluid level line like the fluid level line and that is right there um tap gently to remove bubbles top arrow should be vertical this one should be straight up and down. And this little dewy here, whoops, this little dewy here will move up and down to tell you how strong it is. Now, some people may not feel comfortable with running their engine um, with the cap off. Now, you can check it, check it a few times so it has time to circulate and that. But my recommendation is do not touch your engine unless it is stone cold like it sat overnight it is cold okay cold to the touch like you touch it, you feel no heat at all that's the only time i tell anybody to take off the rag cap okay plain and simple so i want to test i did a little cooling work on my van i want to test the coolant so i'm going to do it stone cold and then i'll do it i'll do it the procedure they want i'll warm it up we'll see if there's any difference at all i doubt that there will be but i just want to make sure that the coolant is up to snuff and you should be concerned too, because if you split a rad, you know, or uh, you prop, plop the uh, freeze plugs out of the engine, it's a lot of money. So uh, this was like, I think it was like 10, 15 bucks. And uh, it's, it's a good thing to have because if you do any cooling work or any shop does any cooling work on your car, you should check it yourself just to make sure. Okay guys, uh, I'm gonna pop the uh, van hood open and we'll uh, take a look, see what it does. Okay, so there's the rag cap. Now, that is stone cold. Like, I haven't had the engine running today. So I'm just gonna take this off. You push down and twist, take it off. There's the coolant down there. Looks nice and green. So, all you do is literally stick the hose in, turn it upright. Now, there's your fill line. So, you squeeze the plunger and you draw it in. Okay, pretty simple. It's pulling it in, pulling it in, pulling it in. And did it bring it up to the line? Yes, it did. So, it brought it up to the line. Now, do you see how the little arrow thing has gone up? So, that's minus 45. So, it's good to say minus, minimum minus 45. Okay? That, that's all it is to it. That is so simple. See? I'll just... Pulled up again. See how the watch watch the arrow. Watch the arrow as it pulls in cool. See as it pulls in, draws in the coolant up to that line there. The arrow goes up, 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 and you want to keep that straight up and down. So, there you go, guys. It's that simple. Now, you see that the, it's up over minus 45 Fahrenheit. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up the engine, let it run for a little while, and I'll do it. But to me, this is all you should... If you do this a couple of times and it's always up this high, you're good. So, what I'm going to do is push that out. Get it all out of there. And I'll start this thing up and we'll give it a shot. Okay, well, the thermostat opened, so uh, let's give this another try. We'll stick this in, squish this down, and uh, let's see what it does. Uh, there goes the arrow. Up, 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 up.
and same as last time so there you go I'll just scoot that stuff out so now I can put the cap on okay now remember now that the engine's running this fluid may be hot like really hot like scalding hot so exercise caution or wait till it cools down to put your cap on okay on and that's it you know I just thought of something for those people who don't have a rad cap all they do is have an overflow you take the top off okay again test it stone cold it's easier that way okay you stick this in and you repeat your process that you did okay squash that down let's bring that fluid up oh this one's gonna be a little weaker ah, see that one's a little weaker than the one in the van it's only good to minus 35 see that I'll repeat it here actually I'll make sure I can get the ball and you so you squeeze the ball tight let it go and it'll suck the fluid up and in keep that straight up and down now it's gone up to the line lines right there yeah so I want to bring that down to the line there straight at the line there you see that it's good for about minus say about minus 30 just getting the ice out of my beard. Well, there you have it, guys. Pretty simple. I'll, I'll do some close-up pictures on that at the end so it has the directions and everything. But each one you buy will have its own directions. But now, so I showed you doing it with a rag cap. And I showed you when there's no rag cap, it's just like an over, overfill sort of thing. And you saw the differences and how, how good it was. It's very simple to do. And... Like I say, red fluid and reds can get scalding hot, like scalding hot. So, you know, if you want to make sure, check it when it's cold, check it a couple times when it's cold, um, just to make sure, like the engine's cold, just to make sure. And uh, if you feel comfortable, take the rag cap off. You'll see when the thermostat opens because the coolant will rise. Then check it, okay? Check it, but be very careful. That's hot. Anyway, guys. If this can save you a couple bucks because things don't break down and freeze up and whatever, and it gives you a little bit of satisfaction knowing that you're safe, especially in colder climates, hope it helps, guys. Anyway, you take care. Be safe on the road.